one week from today is Thanksgiving, mm -hmm. and then a week from tomorrow is Black Friday. Mm -hmm. And you can get a jump on your shopping and help some local artists as well. It's pretty important. Tyler Dean joins us from the Arts Commission with artist Robert Zolwig. And you have a big show coming up on Saturday, a trunk show. So I think the really cool part, too, is where this is happening. Yes. So we are having our trunk show at the historic Edward D. Libby House. Mm -hmm. um, and Robert is actually a part of the Libby House Foundation. Oh, wonderful. So he is thankfully helping us with uh, the beautiful holiday decor. You'll have to come and see that in addition to helping our local artists. By buying yeah. some stuff. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> Everything all in one place. Mm -hmm. yep. And okay, so let's talk about the art because yeah. we've already been admiring it. Yes. And I know everybody wants to see all of this. So what did you bring us this morning? Um, so we brought you four pieces from four of our artists. Um, so we'll end with Robert's piece. Um, so this is a beautiful ornament from uh, Ryan Thompson. Um, he does a lot of uh, intricate glasswork. I'm not sure if you can get yes, in on I that. Yes, I mean, it, yeah, it, yeah, it actually matches my... Sure there you go. It's <laughs> matching it. um, I mean, it's hard to see it, but like there are such yeah. such detail there with mm -hmm. all those little lines in there that had to have taken a long time. A long time. Yeah. So there's a lot of time, love, and effort. Yes, into their work and, go, and going into this. Yes, beautiful. And then we have um, a ceramic bowl. So we do have. It's mostly glass artists, but we do have ceramic artists mm -hmm. as well. Um, this is from Steve Cawthorn. He does ceramic and glass work. Mm -hmm. And then we have, if you want a little bit of a more Christmas yeah, specific, uh, Leonard Marty has a lot of snowmen heads and snowmen bodies. So <laughs> if you, you want to fulfill that niche, you'll be your like Olaf's all over the house, yeah. like part of the body's here, the other yeah. part is there. That's kind of fun as well. And then this piece is actually by uh, one of our artists, Robert mm -hmm. Zolweg. If you want to, yeah, yeah. Talk this about is this. a this is a sand cast piece. Uh, I did this in 2018 when I was a gap artist at the museum. It's a program the artist has, mm -hmm. the museum has. And it's a uh, sand casting is kind of a it's not like blowing glass at all. You actually put a mold in a box of sand and you pour molten glass in there. And then if you notice it, this is layered. So mm -hmm. first, you put a layer of glass, then you put the elements inside, and then you put oh, another layer of glass oh, oh. on top. So okay. this oh. is all sand here, and the top part is the gloss part. Oh, so wow. and you I created probably 50 pieces of this over a course of 10 days. It was a really great experience. And we have a few of these pieces and we have the primary focus of our whole uh, uh, holiday party is local artists. We really want to support the local artists. And many of these glass pieces you can buy anywhere, but we're, we're really promoting supporting these 15 great local glass artists. Buy your holiday gifts for them. Mm -hmm. um, because you're supporting the local community. Yes. And, and the vi vibrant Toledo, that's what I think we're after. people want to do that. I really yes. do. And it's the year of glass, and glass yes. is fantastic with light. Yes. Mm. So you just get that Beautiful. extra, you know, glimmer and uh, kind of that glam kind of look as yes. well. Your yes. house will look lovely. And, and you're supporting the artists, and you're supporting the Arts Commission and yes. the work that you all do. So talk a little bit about what you all, the kinds of programs yeah. you provide. So we have um, a lot of programming. We do a lot of stuff in the community. Our most popular program is probably Young Artists at Work. Um, so it's a summer intern or apprenticeship. We uh, employ 60 youth, um, and they do projects, uh, murals around the city. Um, and it's paid internship, so that way it also promotes uh, workforce development. Mm -hmm. um, we also do um, a thing called Crafternoon. Um, it happens once a month on a Sunday. I think it's every third Sunday. Um, and we just, it's sort of a collection. We bring artists in. The uh, community can come, do a little crafting, um, and just get together and... Mm -hmm. Have fun. <laughs> we love to, to promote the arts and yes. um, bring that out and people and provide that access to people yes, too, absolutely. who may not otherwise, you know, have that. Right. And this event is happening at the Libby House. So how did you choose that unique? <laughs> spot? It, it kind of makes a little bit of sense. It makes all this glass, a lot right? of sense. So it, it, honestly, the because there is a ten dollar admission fee, mm -hmm. but that just seeing the Libby House decorated for the holidays. That covers it in its own. Um, so Robert is actually a member of our board, um, and he is super helpful with everything we do with the Arts Commission. Mm -hmm. So we are very thankful for <laughs> Robert. Um, so he's kind of, um, that, that's kind of the gateway on how we got, mm -hmm. we're able to access the Libby House. The Libby so, House. Yes. So come on out. Again, what time does everything get started? 10 a.m. So it's 10 a.m. to Saturday. 7 p.m. It's, it's pretty casual. It's just an artist market, so mm -hmm. um, you don't have to stay the whole time. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, come join us. We'll have complimentary coffee in the morning, mm -hmm. uh, complimentary light snacks, throughout the day, um, a bar with beer, wine, and then curated cocktails by 6th. Oh, there distillery. you go. Yep. So you can make it, make a, a date of it, yes. perhaps. And Very the Libby House is decorated all three floors with yep. 25 decorations.
decorated Christmas trees. Yes. Beautiful. It's going to be beautiful. Okay, very good, folks. Thank you so much yes. for joining us this Thank morning. You. Well, there's some more good day to come, and it's a good thing we don't live in Buffalo, New York, right? Right. They're talking feet of oh. snow. Not here, though. Of course, I'll have more <laughs> weather details coming up next.